Hi, how are you? Hello, my name's Susan. And I'm the girl who got made shit out on Molly's show. And uh, subsequently, there was so much bad things said about me. I, I suffer with PTSD and Molly knew that very well. And it all got too much for me and I ended up ODing on my medication. And I'm in ICU in hospital right now. Um, I just hope you drag these people down because I'm after writing lengthy emails about cyberbullying to YouTube. I've I've disconnected from her her channels. I've requested all the money back. Frank, I, I was in Frank's chat today. He did want me to come up, but I just was feeling so groggy and stuff. I just felt it wasn't time yet. Um, there, she is going to say things to people, and they might be so lucky like I'm lucky I'm alive. I had a heart attack, and because of the medications, because I'm on a lot of medications because I am I was in two wars. Iraq and Afghanistan, I served with the British military. I do live in uh, the UK, I don't live in Ireland, but I am Irish. And yes, I do have a twin sister. And I actually made a point of putting a picture of me and my sister in my little profile thing when I'm writing messages. For some strange reason, it's not coming up on on the other thing, I don't know why. Um, she tried she tried belittling me, berating me. And she had all her cronies. I think I read about, there was at least over a thousand um, cyberbullying messages and um, hate messages upon me. I had some people even saying that they didn't believe I was Irish. Um, and that Irish people don't sound like me. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, you know? Um, so can, can I ask you a question? Yes, you can ask any question. I'll answer anything. Um, well, I was watching Molly's stream right before I went live mm -hmm. and you were on her panel. Yeah, I was testing her. Were you asking her to get your wrench back? I, I asked her uh, to see what she would do. But actually, when she, if she was going to give back the wrench, I was going to get ready to tell her you can go and shove it up your fucking arse because I'm taking you. I'm, I'm going for your channel. I have li li written lengthy, I mean lengthy, messages to YouTube to take this woman down because you know what? The next person mightn't be so lucky they mightn't survive. If YouTube needs any documentation about my hospital treatment or anything like that, she turned along and said to me, if you were in America, you'd be arrested for what you've done. For doing an OD. That's a lie. They can't just send child services to me because I do have a daughter. She's in Ireland, studying in college, and she's uh, 21, coming up 22 years of age. So the, Molly's really good at sending child services to people. What she call it in America? Um, we call it social services over here. You call it the, you know, there was those people they, who come out and they're supposed to be a bad mother and they look check, check your children. What's the name that you use in America for that? Um, it's it's the same thing, social services, but different states. Call it different. Like that? Yeah, yeah. She's very good for that. Very good for that. She threatens everyone with that one. Um, she can't threaten me with that because there's no children in my home. She she has um belittled me to the point that I'm a really strong person, but she knew how to play my heartstrings. She knew that I was actually a Patreon. I shut down the Patreon. And I written to Patreon and I told Patreon she was a fraud. So I'm waiting for a reply back. I'm after I'm, I'm after getting a reply back from YouTube, stating that I can get all my super chats back because I heard Frank saying anything, any super chats you had sent. I heard, literally heard him saying this to someone else. Uh, any super chats you have sent, you can claim up to six months. So I sent quite a lot of super chats, believing it was for heels on the ground. Um, I, someone, uh, would you mind taking a question from the chat because there, there's somebody asking, wanting to ask yes, a question. Yes. Okay. okay. So this person is asking, um, ask her what time it is there. And time is in the UK, it's at 3.34 a.m. And uh, another person is asking, why is it she's quiet in the ICU to help? Why isn't she quiet in ICU to help other patients who are resting? I'm actually in my own room. I don't know what way they laid out in America, but I have my own room. I have my own bathroom and everything. And uh, they, it was actually the paramedics who said, who grabbed my, um, my, my, my iPad. And I said, well, what's the point of taking that? I said to them, and they said, no, we have the Wi-Fi. So they read this up to the Wi-Fi for me. So there's literally nobody in my room. It's only a single room on my own. I was on a heart monitor and they took it off about, took it off me about four hours ago, four to five hours ago, because I was hypercardiac. You know, and Molly carried, I went, I went into Molly's chat and I went in there for learning, learning, see what way she'd behave. And she cast everything over like it not, never happened. Um, she was very quick to take down the actual whole thing she had done. You know, she set me up. People don't realize what she was doing to me when she brought me up in panel. That wasn't anything that I didn't find unusual because she often brought me up in panel. But every time I tried answering her back in a smart manner, she kept muting my mic so the other people couldn't hear it. 
So they probably made me look like proper stupid. Um, I, guess I, didn't, I didn't realize that the other person can mute your mic. Your mic. Yes, the the person who is doing yeah. it, who is hosting she, it, has mm -hmm. to have the ability to um, do it. She let people hear what she wanted them to hear. She didn't. Uh, she could hear me probably, but the other people couldn't hear me because I kept trying to. I see my mic was muted, and I kept hitting on it. And she said, "I muted your mic." So she kept what she kept doing was leave me say one little bit, and then when I would start riling up, she would mute my mic. So you weren't hearing the real thing. Um, can I give you some advice? And you yes. can take it or leave it. Yeah, no, I take it. I know. I heard that you're a really good person, and that's why I came on here. And um, uh, the other guy, your friend, uh, what's his name again? Kurdiyev. No, no, the man. He's brilliant. He does eclipse. <coughs> I remember his name. I was on, I was in his um live, and he wanted me to come up, and I and no, that that was Kurdiyev. No, it was, it's a man. Yeah, Kurdiyev is a man. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it seems to me that um NGL has hurt you and has caused you a lot of distress. Oh, yeah, definitely. And so my advice to you would be to just don't join her panels anymore. No, and I'm not, not I, watch her and not be in the chat. Just kind of disengage from her I, completely. I totally stopped all my memberships. I stopped the Patreon. I read the Patreon saying that she's a fraud and I want my month, a month, month, month supply of money back. Because she was meant to be a life coach. She never life coached me. She was just taking my money. And so I, I explained to I was um, to uh, Patreon to say what she done. And I want my a month, month's money. And that's, that's like uh, $50. I want that back. And I shut down the Patreon. I, I've, I've, um, come on, I've unsubbed for more. And I've requested for all my super, my super chats and all my money back. And uh, YouTube were really quick to respond when, I, when they read what I risked because I said, we will reimburse you your money. It was Frank. That's the guy's name. Frank I was listening to. Yeah, that's Kurdiaf. Yeah. yeah. I heard him saying that you can request your super chats up to six months. Yeah, and I've I heard that, but I've never actually needed to do that before. So I don't yeah, have any experience Yeah, I've actually requested that. super chats back and everything. And YouTube said they're going to give them back. Okay. 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 Because I explained my case and what was done to me. And I explained exactly where I am. Hopefully, I'll, I'm hoping the doctors leave me out tomorrow. Don't know if they will or not. They've taken me off all the, the machines and stuff like that. And they had me in the side room right now. I mean, in the UK, they're really good. I mean, if I was in a ward, say, uh, uh, they call it a bay. Over here, they call it a bay. That's when you have, like, all the other people. I wouldn't be able to come on here to you tonight or come on this at all. Because I don't need to disturb their patients. But because I have my own room and my door is shut and I'm, at, I'm really at, at, into the side. They can't hear me. The nurse said I can come on. I told well, them I couldn't sleep. I really appreciate you coming on and sharing your story. And like I said, I think that if it is getting to this point, which it's is very serious, yeah, um, it is. By being involved, point. yeah, by being involved in her channel, I, in my opinion, I think that if anything in life is causing you that much distress, oh, yeah, just I have completely un, I have cut it out. Yeah, so yeah, I've totally un, un, unscribed from. Sorry about I'm a, the medication. Um, they give me a medication for certain things, and it makes me a bit silly. Um. I've unsubscribed to every single thing. I, I literally have nothing to do with her. Okay, that's good. Well, like I said, I appreciate you coming up, but I have other people that have been waiting, but I really yeah. appreciate you yeah. um, sharing your story, and I appreciate you um, speaking it's with me. It's getting dangerous. Someone is going to get hurt by this lady. Yes. It really is. I mean, what did it do? Uh, Aya? Uh, Aya? And, and now then, they're, they're like, you know, it was I was doing a lot of super chats, and it's the way, it was what was done to me, basically. It was plastered all over YouTube, what was done to me, actually. Yeah. All the clip channels got us. So... Okay. I leave you going. I just wanted to say that. Okay. Well, thank, I thank you so much for sharing. Um, I'm with Laura, so I think I might stay with Laura for a bit. I think Laura's pretty straight up, and she calls it as it is. Um, do what you feel like that you need to do. Have you any advice on am I, Is that a safe one or not? I mean, I am not going to tell someone who to um, be in chats with or not. That's yeah. not for me to say. That's for, that's for people to make up their own minds. Me personally, yeah. I got my own issues with her, but I'm not going to sit here oh, okay. and tell people what they can and cannot do, so... That's your decision, I guess. Yeah, I'm only kind of new to YouTube, so I don't really know. You know, I know uh, the community, a lot of you know all of each other. Where's that? I, I don't. You know, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I let you go because I know you've other people to talk to. And I appreciate you leaving me up on your panel to just uh, to get out what I needed to say. Yeah, Thank sure. you very much. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. See ya. Bye. Um, he said YouTube was giving her money back. And that YouTube was giving her her money back, yeah. And um, I, I, I'm... I'm I want to cry. I want to throw up after everything we did for her. And I made a comment in the chat. How dare you, Susan? We saved your life. And then, of course, I got jumped on and said we ignored her. 
at first. Heidi was crying yesterday because she was so, was it yesterday? Because she was so happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. How dare you, lady? How dare you? Shame on you. Shame on you. Seriously. That's Is she talking true. bad? I didn't see Yes. The... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. She's like, I'm testing Molly or something to that effect. And uh, just utter nonsense. She got mad because she didn't get that wrench earlier. And she uh... said, that's exactly why. That's exactly why. And she said Molly kept muting her or something so to make her sound bad or something. No, she muted me as well. It was with certain keys during the, the talk because we had a lot up there. Everybody was talking over each other at multiple times. And then when she got on the phone with her mom and stuff like that, we were all muted. I didn't take offense to it. I no, Molly's muted no. me a hundred times. I yeah. don't take offense yeah. to it. Yeah. If you're on someone's panel, you respect their rules or get off. Of it's simple as that. All right. I will say a lot of people in chat were saying that she was fake and lying. And you know what? This is the thing. We knew that. Yeah. yeah. She was fake and lying. We gave but her a we second still chance. accepted her. That's Man, a second chance. Yeah. I'm sick. I'm sick. I know. It's, it's, don't, don't, don't let her so hey, Cassie, how are you? Cassie. I think she's froze. Thank you, IT. Yeah. Oh don't my cry, God. Heidi. Heidi, there's nothing to cry about. Listen, you tried, and me, I was I was not buying any of this. I told you I'm sensitive and I cry easy, so <laughs> I mean, you know what I like, do, but like I, we, like my, my first stream, I spent, we spent two or three hours with her the other night. Like it was ridiculous amount of hours. You know what I mean? Just to help her. Yeah. And I was there with you and I don't know how many people caught it with me on live, how I was starting to get have so much pain i couldn't stand from sitting and laying right and yeah. you know and i was in you know and i will not i will not let this disgusting person stop me from helping somebody else out in the future though no 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 you don't let people bitter you no no that's not who i am that's not what i'm you. about yeah. so she's but not I, in an icu and doesn't have this, 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 and that. Listen. We don't we have, know where she we is. All have to, we all have to come to the agreement that this person is mentally ill. It's nothing yes, uh, for her. Is mentally Ill. That is a certain. She yes. cannot, I believe that this woman yeah. cannot control herself. But I think there, she wants there's to also, But Marissa, there's also a thing as, as mentally ill people and there's evil people. I don't know which one's which. Yeah. Why would somebody do this after? No, let, I, I want her to go to Laura's. Please. I want her to support Laura. I don't want your, I don't want your support anymore. I don't need your support. You're hurting my Patreons. You're hurting my members. You're hurting my subs. You're treating me. Thank you, Cheryl. You're treating us like shit. And I don't know what to believe. And I want to start my channel for people with the chronic diseases and, and for women's health, whatever, yeah. you know. And this, and I'm not going to stop from doing that because I can't let that. And this just stabbed me in the back. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry that that hurt you. I honestly am. <clears throat> well, you know, this is the thing I want people to understand this is not Molly's fault. This is not Marissa's fault or anything like that. Any of the haters or anything out there. This has, Molly was very good to her. Very good to her. And it just really frustrates me that because she doesn't get her way. You know what? No, no nobody's going to give you a wrench back after 
going and doing that, you you got to really earn it. Wow. And, and you know what I thought? I even thought, well, my God, if she gets a wrench, she might go rogue. You know, maybe she was just kissing her, you know. You just cannot trust. I'm telling you, good Lord, people. Shame on human beings sometimes. Yeah, it's the backstabbing ones, you know, the ones that talk out of... They screw it up for the good people. It's, you know, it's just like, you know, like, uh, everything that went on... Sorry if anybody saw it. I don't want to say the T word or anything like that, but... You know, now we have to take off our shoes, take off this, do this for just a handful of people. You know what I mean? They just screw it up for everybody. Yeah. Sorry if anybody saw me kissing my husband. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> well, here's what was strange. I think this is what happened on that other channel just, just recently. Not where she's at currently, I guess. But pre prior to that, I believe that... She said something like, oh, yeah, the paramedic or whoever it was was like, you should grab, because the gal did ask her, like, you know, something about, or at least I, I thought she did on that channel, said something about, like, interrupting other patients. Like, you could tell she was trying to go down, like, a kind path of, like, getting her to, like, get off because it was a worrisome conversation with what had happened. But she was saying, like, oh, don't you think you could be, like, interrupting people? Like, if you're in the ICU and she's like, oh, well, I have my own room. And yeah. then she, when she made the comment, like, um, that she was, she made it sound like she wasn't even going to grab, like, her iPad or whatever. Um, but then she said the paramedic told her to, and then the paramedic supposedly told her, like, oh, they have Wi-Fi there. You can use their Wi-Fi. Something along those lines. And I was just the paramedics. Her, I don't care if it's in Zimbabwe. They're not going to tell you that. No. I just thought that was rather strange. Unless she's not in the hospital and she's in another place. If you know me, I'd probably say, wait, I need my phone in my lap 